Hey y'all, hi, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. My name is Mandy, thank y'all so, so much for being here. Today, we're gonna be venturing off my regular plus size fashion content to talk more about castor oil. I actually posted a video a couple of weeks ago at this point talking about the many ways in which my family and I and now my neighbors have been using castor oil in our day-to-day -day lives. That video y'all surprisingly had great reception and now I'm kind of wishing that I would have done my hair and makeup for that video because girl. <laughs> But in that video, I had a lot of questions in the comment section, specifically asking about below the belt uses for castor oil. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Uses for problems such as vaginal dryness, vaginal yeast infections, menstrual cycle regulation, which I talked on briefly in my past videos. Um, we're also gonna be talking about Bartholin's gland and Bartholin's gland cyst, as well as hemorrhoids because there's nothing like a very angry hemorrhoid to just ruin your day. So let's get into it. Before we even get into the nitty gritty, I just wanna first include the obligatory <laughs> disclaimer, okay? Because I am definitely no doctor. I'm a plus size fashion content creator who's been doing research on castor oil for over a year, probably closer to two years now. I watch videos here on YouTube. I watch TikTok videos. I do some research online through like medical journals and whatnot, but definitely do your own research. Talk to a trusted doctor if you have one before implementing any of the things that you see in today's video, first and foremost. So now that we've gotten all that out of the way, now we can really talk about the real issues. And first of all, we're gonna be starting with vaginal dryness, vaginal yeast infections, and Bartholin's gland cysts. And each and every single one of those is such an uncomfortable condition for so many women out there. I know I've had my fair share of all of those <laughs> in general, and they can be caused by a multitude of things. I'm talking about the laundry detergent that you use or the soaps that you use to wash yourself in the bath or in the shower. They can be caused by diet changes, diet in general. They can be caused by medications that you're taking allergy medication can wreak havoc on your body down there. But just by applying a little bit of castor oil to the area, either by compress, which I'll demonstrate in just a second, or good old hands-on application, it really is gonna help a lot of your symptoms. It's gonna help to generate blood flow. It's gonna regulate your pH balance. You're gonna have a lot of reduced inflammation. That's the wonderful thing about castor oil is it reduces inflammation. It's a fantastic, anti-inflammatory. So if you're dry, itchy, irritated, swollen, and probably irritable, <laughs> understandably so, this is gonna get you a writer's rain in no time. So direct application, applying it with your good old hands. How much is too much? How much is too little? Well, I'm gonna tell you because I have had trial and error with this. So probably no more than a dollop, about the size of a nickel is what you're gonna use because let me just tell you, <laughs> a little bit goes a long way. I mean, you're gonna slide clear across the parking lot if you apply too much. That's all I'm saying. And I highly suggest organic in a glass bottle castor oil. So I use the same castor oil that Barbara O'Neill uses. If you're a fan of hers, that's the one that I use. I will leave a link to it in the description box below. It's very, very reasonably priced. It's a 16 ounce glass bottle. It will last you forever, honestly. <laughs> you wanna apply it onto your hands, kind of warm it up into your hands, and then rub it throughout the folds of the vaginal area. That is really important. Any place that's angry, any place that's sore, that's where you wanna apply it. If you have a Bartholin's gland cyst, you wanna definitely kind of put it in there on that little area. The longer that it sits, the more that it works because it's gonna penetrate deeply into the area and it's gonna be amazing for you. So vaginal compresses, we finally made it, let's talk about it. So vaginal compresses honestly can be applied one of two ways, internally and externally, both in conjunction with one another. So you can wear them both at the same time. You can wear one or the other. It doesn't matter, it all depends on your comfort level and the severity of the issues that you're having. Regardless of the method that you choose, castor oil is notoriously messy, okay? And it will stain your clothes. So a really good panty liner, an absorbent 
preferably organic cotton panty liner is going to be your best bet. It acts as a, a buffer zone between you, the castor oil, and your clothes. And then finally, on top of all that, that's where we're going to add the natural fiber compress fabric, either organic cotton, wool, linen, or you can just bypass all that together and get organic cotton reusable panty liners. I have some choices in the description box below, but you're going to want to drizzle about a cap full of castor oil onto the compress and that's what you want against your skin like positioned over your panty liner that is exactly what you want so we just talked about external compresses now let's talk about internal compresses specifically tampon compresses and as i mentioned before probably ad nauseum at this point organic cotton tampons organic cotton fibers is going to be the best there is if you don't know where to get any i will definitely include some links down in the description box below but this is the one that you're going to insert into you and you can definitely prepare these in advance you can apply like eight nine ten to a glass mason jar pour about a half a cup of castor oil over top let them get good and absorbed put the top on put it in the fridge don't answer any of your kids questions <laughs> and that way you have it whenever you need it and it's nice and chilled and it's going to be so soothing and i would say probably for about an hour you're going to wear it for the first day or so just till you know how your body reacts to it i know myself i've never had a reaction to castor oil but you know everybody's body is different so listen to your body it's gonna steer the ship and then go from there. So in the first video that I posted regarding castor oil, I mentioned very briefly about my daughter's battle with PCOS. She has had PCOS for as long as I can remember and everything that goes along with it, honestly. And um, probably since she started her period at 11 or 12, she has dealt with PCOS issues. And honestly, it has been so debilitating for her. Uh, she had every single symptom. So as soon as you would like Google symptoms of PCOS, it was like a, a checklist, honestly, of symptoms. And when she would have a period every four to six months, it would be absolutely debilitating for her. Like poor baby, she was in bed for a week with nausea, pain, body aches, vomiting, soreness, the whole bit. And we tried everything. We tried natural, we tried echinacea, we tried vitamins, we tried eBay vitamins, Amazon vitamins. I would go to the doctor and it was, they would throw birth control at you and the birth control didn't even work. It just made her feel absolutely terrible. Depressed, irritable, it made her gain weight. It was just a nightmare. And she wouldn't even have a period on the birth control. And then one day <laughs> I came across a random TikTok just out of the blue by Barbara O'Neill. And if you don't know who Barbara O'Neill is, I didn't either. Barbara O'Neill is like um, an Australian naturopath. I wouldn't call her like a holistic doctor per se, but she gives natural suggestions for different ailments that you're having. And baby, I sent her that TikTok so quickly. <laughs> And I was like, I know you're tired of trying things. I know this, but are you willing to try this? Because if you are, I'm definitely going to buy it for you. And she was like, sure. <laughs> and as soon as it came, we were on it that night. And within a couple of days, like I noticed that she started saying that she was feeling something, but we did the compresses for like two to three days a week. And after two weeks, she texted me from college and she said, mama, that castor oil worked. And that was over a year ago at this point. It was over a year ago. She still uses the castor oil like once or twice every single week, but she has been regular with no weird symptoms every single month for over a year, y'all. So I highly recommend castor oil if you have fertility issues, if you have menstrual irregularity issues, because it's gonna get you on it and it's gonna get you regular let me tell you. Okay, so I saved, I believe, the best for last because this is gonna be real effective relief for hemorrhoids. And with everything that we've been talking about prior in this conversation, I think we can kind of put our modesty aside because honestly, in my opinion, there is nothing more unsettling or humbling than a sore and angry hemorrhoid. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like you are honestly at the mercy of a hemorrhoid. 
until it is ready to relinquish. It could take days, it could take weeks, it could take months. And in my opinion, there needs to be way more over-the-counter advances in medical treatment than witch hazel because witch hazel is for the birds. That's all I'm saying. They're sore. They're painful. I can't sit down. I can't watch a movie. I can't relax. I can't go to the bathroom. And you want to give me witch hazel? Come on. So we're just going to get right down to the nitty gritty. I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to do. So first of all, you want to get you some organic cotton balls, organic cotton balls for all the reasons that I mentioned before. And you're going to roll them suckers fairly thin. Okay. So I'm going to demonstrate on a video right now. And then you're going to soak them in castor oil for a couple of minutes and then put them in the freezer. Now it's going to take about three full days to freeze solid because castor oil is very thick. It's a very sticky substance. So it's going to take a little while. So definitely make some in advance. Tell your grandkids or whoever that it's not <laughs> that it's not illegal substances that is for your backside and to mind their own business and leave you alone. And once they're done, once they're good and frozen, you could put them in a mason jar and leave them in your freezer for whenever you need them. But you're gonna use them as a suppository. So the cold is going to act very quickly to help soothe and kind of relax all those nerves and kind of help with the inflammation and the swelling. And then the castor oil is going to act in the long term. And it's going to not only lubricate the area because you are going to have some lubrication, but it's also going to soothe and act as an anti-inflammatory. That is the whole spiel about castor oil is it's a fantastic anti-inflammatory. It works on just about anything you put it on. Definitely don't recommend taking it internally because it upsets the gastros and all that stuff and it causes uh, flaming diarrhea. <laughs> and just so you know, I'm really not trying to make a joke of the matter because, you know, angry hemorrhoids are not anything to make jokes about, but castor oil suppositories will take the anger out of you and your hemorrhoid, okay? <laughs> it's not the most delicate way of doing things, but when push comes to shove, it's gonna calm the caboose. All right, y'all. So I think that we've covered just about everything on the agenda today. If you have any questions or concerns or issues, please let me know in the comment section down below. I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. And yeah, that is going to do it for today's video, y'all. I hope y'all found this video helpful and enjoyable and a little bit entertaining. If you did, please give it a like and a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And as always, Thank y'all so, so much for watching. I always appreciate each and every one of you. Please stay safe and stay healthy in this wild, crazy, weird world <laughs> that we're living in. And I'm going to be seeing y'all very, very soon. Bye.